This week we're in Los Angeles, California, and behind me is one of the most famous 10 stairs in the world. And on the other side of this building, one of the most famous 15 stairs in the world. That's right, two spots, one location. Welcome to Spot History. All right, Kanan, who do you think the first person to skate this thing was? I have no idea, but probably the oldest clip that I know of is Mark Gonzalez's nose slide. I'm sure maybe someone like Ollie the set or board slid it before that. Well, let's name all the tricks down the set and then we'll come back to the rail. Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, for the set, we'll start off with Reynolds. He definitely skated this spot a bunch. He did fakey flip, switch front shove, and fakey barrel heel. I think that's it down the 10? For him, yeah. Yeah. Well, at least down the set. Yeah. Let us know if we're wrong, though. I know uh, Jeff Lenosi did switch heel flip. I remember uh, one clip where Beagle was filming Long Lens and someone was sitting on the ledge and he goes something like, Hey Scooby, yeah, yeah, can you get off the ledge before the homie goes? And he, he kind of falls. Hey, well, Scooby, yeah, yeah, can you get down please when, when the homie goes? You right? I, know, I think someone did switch double flip down the 10 stair. <laughs> I'm not sure who that was. If anyone knows, let us know in the comments. I know for sure Antoine Dixon did fakie double flip down this. That's crazy. So yeah, in Bacon Destroy, there's this montage with a bunch of dudes skating the set. I think they had like a contest. Someone did 360 double flip down this. They have a bunch of clips from people from that day. I mean, someone did back three down the set. Another good one, switch front heel, Ardo Sari. Vincent Lovanos did fakie tray flip. Jim Greco did two tricks I can remember. He did switch front side flip over the rail. And he did the most perfect nollie backside flip. Yeah. I love the way it was filmed from the back. And just landed perfect. Don Nguyen did fakie hard flip. The Otis did big heel. A lot of tricks have been shot right up here on this ledge. What are some more tricks you remember, Destin? I remember uh, Furby did switch big heel down the set. Oh, wow, you're up there. This is a good angle to see this. Some dude in the Bacon Destroy video, I think it was, he ollied the set from behind the bubble pad. Oh, wow. Yeah. We're not skating. I know, but they tell me that all the time. Can we just... No, no, we're actually not skating. We're, we're just trying to do a documentary for our YouTube channel. I promise we're not skating. We're just filming a documentary on the spot no, because a lot's been done. Here. It's actually not even skatable right now because the poles are in the way. You know what? I need it. Okay. Yeah, because I've been told that many times. No, I completely believe that. Yeah. If we were actually skating, yeah. I, I could get that, but... Yeah. Back in the 90s and early 2000s, this was a famous skate spot, and we do a skateboarding YouTube channel. Let me see that. It's What's called your... Dern Brothers, D-E-R-N. Yeah, that's it. We literally just talk about the set the okay. whole time and then show the skate clips after that okay. are from other skate videos. Okay. I, I guess we got the green light now, but anyways, uh, I know someone did. Thank you, yeah, like, thank seriously. You. Oh, thank you, that's awesome. We got the security to subscribe to our channel. He gave us the green light to keep filming as long as we don't skate. 
All right, let's get to the rail. What's been done? So we'll start off with the basics that got done very early on, which was Brian Sumner did lip slide and 5-0. Brian Sumner also did half cap nose slide. Uh, Ali Bulala did lip slide fakie. Uh, Ali Bulala also did 180 nose grind. And Ardo Sari did switch front nose slide. It is a fat square very nice does anyone know if anyone ever hit this out ledge let us know in the comments i'm guessing the marks are from bmxers but if it, i could see like somebody nose sliding this i mean it's pretty tall but it's possible it's even skatable today i guess yeah if you go past these poles it'd be so sketchy you fall early boom right into this pure concrete pole that thing is solid if you think you can unskate stop this spot Good luck. If you want to skate the rail, you really just got to take out those three. JD and I. All right, anyways, back to the tricks. Some dude did pop shove lip slide. Another Andrew Reynolds trick, Nolly front 180 switch crook. Jonathan did back tail shove out. Uh, Furby did Nolly back tail fakie. Give him a this cuts. Yeah. That's a scary one. Darrell Stanton on Ollie back lipped it. Uh, Reynolds kickflip lipped it. In that bacon destroy section, kid does kickflip back 50. I don't know who that was though. Uh, kickflip 50 50 by Brad Lane. Kickflip from 50? Yeah. Leo Romero did kickflip 5 0. And Brad Lane. Oh, uh, kickflip blunt fakie, uh, Felipe Ortiz. Which is pretty crazy on square. I feel like that would be harder to lock in. He also did front shove 50. But it's such a good rail. I wish this thing was still skatable. It's perfect. And the run up's perfect. This isn't like Carlsbad Gap and uh, Santa Monica triple, like the run up so smooth. You got the perfect square rail. Even the landing is level and smooth for the most part. And you got plenty of run up, plenty of run away. It's just perfect. That's why this thing's been destroyed. Yeah, it, it makes sense. It's like a, a skate park 10 stair rail. Exactly. Oh, uh, train wreck front crooked it. And then Chris Troy did front hurricane. Uh, we have Eric Costin, some classics. We have Nolly Nose Grind. Nolly Heel Flip, Nose Slide. And Switch Tail Slide. Switch back tail was a Delmo Jr. Ryan Desenzo, Nolly flip lip. And big heel board slide. Uh, another Reynolds clip, because he's got so many. Nolly tail slide. He must live close by. <laughs> oh, Josh Harmonated fakey 50-50. Fakie 5 0 is Terry Kennedy. I think Reynolds also did half cab clip nose slide. Oh, some more fakie tricks, half cab 5 0. That's a crazy one. Oh, uh, fakie nose grind 180, Jeff Rally. A lot of graffiti on these poles. Oh, what were you saying? Jim Greco did back nose blunt. Oh, 
And that back nose blunt got a cover of Trans World Magazine. Oh yeah, I remember that one. Abdias Rivera, uh, Barley Grind. I wonder what happened to all the bars in the middle of the rail. Yeah, it's weird that all the bars in the middle of the rail are cut out of the middle. I one. wonder if like when people are skating it, did they get knocked out or like... I have no idea. This whole bottom beam is missing too, it's weird. Uh, we got Jason Jones with Nolly 5.0. And then Jason Jones did Kickflip Crook. Someone did Nolly Nose Blunt. We have Nolly Back Over Crook by Matt Dreyer. So I just now noticed that it says fingerboard or die. Because that's pretty much all you can do here now. Darn, I did not bring my fingerboard. Nolly Front Crook, Brian Herman. He also did Nolly Front Feeble. I remember Andrew Pot did Nolly Flip Board Slide. Nolly Flip Crook, Nick Merlino. I'm very jealous of that one. I've always wanted to get one of those in the streets. I've only done like nolly flip board slides and nolly flip nose slides, but I've yet to find the perfect rail to nolly flip crook. And this one is so good. Uh, Windsor James did nolly heel board slide. I think Matt Dreyer did nolly heel board slide too, or his nolly heel nose. We'll confirm that in this next clip. Oh, and Furby did one too. Antoine Dixon also nollie heel board slid it. That one's probably the most memorable. Antoine Dixon, nollie heel crook. Someone did pop shove it nose grind. Neen Williams also did heel flip back 50 50. Oh, yeah. That was a good one. Mark Appleyard, Nolly front board. Nolly back 5-0. And Nolly flip, no slide. Uh, Jim Greco also did switch crook. Uh, Jim Greco also did switch flip board side. He's done a lot of tricks down this thing. He's done the most tricks out of anyone down both these sets. Wow. He is the king of Wilshire. I thought it was Reynolds. Jim Greco hasn't beat, I swear. Right. Reynolds is second place for sure, though. The whole Baker team just killed this spot, though, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Matt Bennett did switch 180.50. Surprise, another one by Jim Greco. Back to 70 lift. Okay, so we started off with the rail slide, ended the kickflip midway, cleared the pylons, landed that. <laughs> yeah, that would be the one right there, baby. That would, that would be a big one. You gotta go real fast to clear the poles. I'm not saying to do that. I'm just saying, is it possible? Looking like the rail right in the middle, see how it's kind of got a dent, like some trucks in it. Oh yeah, it looks like that's true. <laughs> gap over after. So he thinks it's possible to grind the rail, then pop over the pole. If he did tail slide and then popped over the poles, that would be crazy. That would be crazy. Bro. I I want to see that. But tail slide <laughs> ollie over the poles I'm, I'm, out of tail slide. Uh, I don't know about I don't that think one. So. <laughs> Mark Appleyard did have another one. I think it was his Ender in Extremely Sorry. He did 360 flip no slide. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, front big spin board slide uh, by Sean McNulty. I remember seeing a crazy clip, finger flip board slide. Yeah. That is a crazy one. 
Didn't Bastion Salbonzi do big flip front board? Yeah, that's an insane one. Yeah. My favorite trick down there is Greg Lasko front 270 nose blind. I've always wanted to learn that trick. I don't know what I'm waiting for. Nigel Houston did full cap back lead. Mark Johnson did full cap front board. Someone did back 180's nose grind. Oh, Moose did Nolly Hill 50 in the Deathwish video. This one was super sick. I remember the last clip in that Bacon Destroy montage. John Dixon did early grab 5-0. So whenever it rains here, which it rarely does, it may be slippery when wet. That's everything on the 10 stair. Usually we uh, explore the area to find more skatable spots. This building, I don't think there's much, but there is this bump right here. It looks like BMXers bump off this and do a wall ride. Oh, wow. We're taking a lap around the building to get to the 15 stair. So we're in LA, obviously there's a lot of spots around here, but we won't go too far. But literally across the street, this is a, not as famous as Wilshire, but it's a pretty famous spot. Nigel did a flip trick down that. He did a whole crazy line where you like, front board or front nose, the rail back there. I believe more tricks have been done right here on this set and Windsor did a front wall ride on it. That's right. Yeah, uh, save the rest of the tricks. We could almost do a whole spot video on that. Yeah, there's a lot of spots around here that we gotta get to. Here's some uh, skate stopped ledges. It looks like they're double skate stopped. And what do we have here? All right, the poles on this side are different yellows. <laughs> looks like somebody had fun spray painting. Look down here at this second pole. They started to uh, oh my cut God. it. Somebody actually tried to cut it out. I wonder, did their blade just not make it through? Yeah, look, on this side you can see they didn't make it all the way around. Maybe they got caught by security or someone driving by, I don't know. It's just like through the metal and it just like, there's the concrete. Yeah, I, they probably didn't realize there was actually concrete filled in this thing. I mean, it's pretty obvious. Wow. Who knows, maybe they didn't have the right tools. I don't even know if like a sawzall would work for this. I would think the grinder would do the job, but you'd have to have a big grinder with a thick disc that could actually make it all the way through. Maybe if you could just get through enough, you could just kick it and then just break the concrete and then just grind it all down after. But it's just like... So much work. Security Always security, there's cameras. I would love to see this spot live again. Everyone would. All right, here we are at the 15 stair now. This one's gnarly. Let's start with the basics. Again, we'll start off with the tricks down the set, then we'll get to the rail. Evan Hernandez did Ollie in front 180. He also did board slide. I will name that one off right now. Andrew Reynolds did kickflip. Then he also did front side flip. Which got him a cover for Skateboarder Magazine. Classic. And then Jim Greco did switch Ollie. Jim have a feel, so good. Burby switch 180 there. Someone else switched 180 too. Adam Spony. Yeah, that's right. I think he did it first actually. 
Billy Marks, pop shoved it. Reynolds did Nolly front 180 and Nolly back 180. Nolly flip was Grant Patterson. I like this one. Ragdoll did board transfer down the whole set. Antoine Dixon, I believe, was the first to heel flip this set. I think he's the only one to do it. Oh, yeah. What's up? Watch more of your YouTube videos, uh, hey. especially that series of you explaining yeah, yeah, the tricks. Yeah. yeah, that's what we're like, doing here. Explaining the spots. Yeah. I looked at it pretty, pretty informative. Yeah. Dude, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> yeah. 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 Now that I looked at it more, I'm like, wow. You guys got to even skate with Steven. Oh yeah, yeah. The other day. The yeah. You know what? For a skating channel, that's quite impressive. Thank you. Like, all right, keep it up, man. Hey, all thank right. you. Yeah, yeah, we appreciate sorry it. Sorry for earlier. It was no, it was no, you're good. good. My yeah, no, it's okay. It's Tommy Sandoval did thank you, Ollie. Uh, Mark Salisbury did firecracker. That one was so sick. <laughs> yeah. Like, that is a scary one. <laughs> Trey did it a bunch of times down the 10, and he's like, all right, five more stairs, here we go. I wonder, like, all the people that skated this, did they do their trick down the 10 first, and then? Oh, I'm sure for the most part, yes. Yeah. But also, this spot's like a bus. So, like, did you just have to go straight for the 15? Did you even have time? Well, they always have security right over there. Security dude's, like, right behind the glass over there. He freaked out on us at first, but, but then now he, he subscribed to us on YouTube. I know a lot of the security guards, the Baker guys, would get them fired because they would pay him off, and then the person that owned the building would find out. Well, Jim would, like, bribe them, and then uh, next thing you know, they're fired. Jim would start out with, like, 40, 40 for an hour, you know, and they'd probably take that, but then some are, like, 100, you know, and then, like, at the time, it was worth it. Like, we need to make this deadline, get these tricks. All right, here, 100. I don't want. Look, I don't want. Do you do Put it on his watch. Put it in his watch. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Two hundred cold dollars. For me, I don't want. This spot is worth paying the money to skate. Like, absolutely. This thing is perfect. If those poles weren't there, man, I'd love to hop on this right now. Oh yeah, and then I remember this funny clip in the Death Wish video where Jim Greco tried to hypnotize the security guards. Front 180 over the rail, Jason Jones. Someone back 180 over the rail too. Uh, everyone should know about this one. Reynolds and Cool Cab. That one is so crazy to land fakey down this Pretty thing sure. after spinning. Train flip, Brian Herman. <laughs> Chris Paul, backside flipped it. I think it was in the intro of New Blood, it wasn't even in his part. Uh, Furby also did switch flip. Freeze. All right, baby, then move these. And he did fakey flip. And fakey flip? Yeah. Uh, some dude named Joey did Vero a heel flip. Heavy. It's a big varial heel flip. Then we got Kevin Romar did Nolly heel flip, and he actually did that one twice. He got two different angles out of it. Nolly 
gnarly. Yeah, uh, Sean Conover did half cab. Flip. Switch heel flip, Nick Merlino. Then we had back 360, Vincent Lovanos. I think some dude named Jeff Mikett did hard flip. Yeah, that switch front side flip, that was iconic. It got the cover of Skateboarder Magazine. And I think it was the ender of his Baker three part. And then Nyjah and only back killed it. Now we're to the rail. Kanan's gonna hit the rail now. Through the poles, oh my God. It's like my kneecaps out on poles. <laughs> The thing hasn't been grinded in a very long time. I bet it's so rusty. If somebody actually does get these poles out of the way and you go to grind this, you better wax it because like, it's so <laughs> sticky. We had board slide to fakie by this dude named Jake. I remember Eric Ellington did front board. But I also remember Matt Ball did front board. Anthony Amadori did 50-50. Yeah, yeah. Matt McKay was the one that did back 50-50. Or some dude named Sean did 5-0. Jim Greco, back 5-0. Jim Greco destroyed this spot. Yes, he did. Classic Chad Musco tail slide. Brian Sumner nose grind. So two people did crook. Jason Jones and Terry Kennedy. Pretty sure Terry Kennedy did it second, but it's funny because he got the cover after it already been uh, done. Yeah, Skateboarder Magazine. Jason Jones did Nolly board side. And then Frankie Villani did Feeble to 50-50. Yeah, this thing used to have knobs on it, some crazy looking ones. Obviously this one's still here because no one's getting on that high. Yeah. No point to take that off. I don't know, I feel like every time I see this, someone skating this, there's always just one skate stopper and I feel like it was lower at one point and people still did tricks down it. Maybe there used to be one like right there. Yeah, it looks right. like it. It probably was right here. Uh, Jason Jones also did gap to lip slide. I'm wondering if they just pushed, like maybe that's the one and they just pushed it higher. Oh, Cause it was like in the middle of the rail before. What if that's why all these bars are cut out? Oh, I mean, that's- Oh, that's pretty genius. Uh, Anthony Mosley did Nolly front board. He also back lifted, like gap back lifted when the skate stopper was down here more. Jason Jones did a lot of tricks on this thing too. He also Nolly crooked. 
jealous of that one. Let me tell you about this Nolly Nose Slide by Ardo Sari. Oh yeah? He also did Nolly Lip Slide. Jeff Raleigh did 180 nose grind. I believe that was in his sorry part. Matt Bennett did Nolly 50-50. And Nolly 5-0. Josh Johnson did back tail down this set. Two people kick the board slid it, Billy Marks. And Andrew Plot. Shorty getting it in with me. Uh James Brockman switch front board. Back over crook, Matt Dreyer. Jonathan did back Zuski. Jonathan also did front one. To Fakey. One of the sickest ones, Patrick Melcher did Hurricane. I think that one was one of my favorites too. He like started so high on the rail too. He really popped up top on that one. Yeah. That one was so perfect. Switch tail side, Lucas Carvalho. Oh, Biggie did switch back 50. I think that was from Bacon Destroy. It was, that was so sick. So here's a crazy story. Nyjah kickflip back flip this, and it was the cover of Skateboard Magazine, but we have never seen the footage. It's in a box somewhere at his dad's house, apparently. Yeah, apparently his dad has the footage. And they don't talk no more. Nyjah's dad, let us see the footage. And then, this is the sad part, in 2011, they put the poles up, and literally no tricks have been done since, besides two people. Clint Walker was the first one to ollie, from up top over the poles, which is absolutely insane. But there was a bit of drama with it because this dude named Sharif Grady came and also did it without knowing Clint did it first because the footage wasn't out. And Clint was possibly getting a cover for Thrasher for his ollie. And then Clint found out that this Sharif dude did the ollie and hit him up and said, what are you doing with that footage? And then Sharif realized that he wasn't gonna get the recognition unless he dropped the footage immediately. So he just went to his Instagram, posted the photo, which caused Clint to have the entire Birdhouse team post his photo ollieing over the poles, which then caused Sharif to post his footage straight to Instagram. So because of that, Clint never got the photo in Thrasher, whether it was gonna be a cover or not. And then Clint ended up not posting his footage straight to the gram, but it was in his Saturday's part for Birdhouse. But no one knew this. He also had another trick here. He did 50-50 over on this rail and landed and slipped right between the edge of the sidewalk and that far pole right there. That is gnarly. That is very gnarly. It is still skatable. And because he did that, I think that has unlocked the door. Not, well, both of them really, because I do believe that at some point, I bet someone's gonna step up and at least do a front 180 over the poles. I think I can see that being a possibility. I mean, maybe back 180, that'd be, that'd be pretty scary. Clint did the 50-50. I think I can see someone doing a 5-0 in the future at oh, the yeah, bare minimum. Sure. Because if 50 50 is possible, you know someone's got 5 0. Yeah, there's enough room, but it's definitely sketchy with that pole. Yeah, for sure. One thing goes wrong, that kind of speed coming off this thing. Oh my God, dude. And then here's another fun fact there's a photo of this. Lizard King was actually trying the Ollie over the poles quite a few times, apparently, before Clint ever had the make. He was trying it like a year prior. 
Oh, wow. This dude, James Martin, almost landed big spin front board down this rail. <laughs> he didn't get the make, came back a week later, and that's when the poles went up. So he, when he came back to the spot, he couldn't even try it again. This is a crazy one. One dude almost landed fakie Benihana down this set. What the heck? There's a photo that I've seen. I'll find it and put the photo here, but I have not seen any of the attempts on footage. If anyone knows where to watch any of the attempts, if that footage is out there online, I wanna see it. Leave it in the comments below. We all know Nija did the kickflip back lip, even though we haven't seen the footage. Bastian Salabanzi also tried the kickflip back lip, I think when he was filming for one of the Sorry videos. And then shout out to the BMXer Charles Littlejohn. He did a 360 over the poles. Oh, oh my God! All right, and that's our video on the 10 stair and the 15 stair here at Wilshire. If you guys like this one, make sure you subscribe. We're gonna keep doing these skate spot history videos. We actually picked this spot this week because so many of you guys suggested it in the comments and let us know if we missed anything. I'm sure there's a lot of tricks that went down that we forgot about. And then let us know if we made any mistakes on any of the information in this video. See you guys next Wednesday. Well, it's the uh, Bank of Hope, so I hope one day it's skatable again. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. Yeah.